that's why we're still standing around. Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. This is part 36, I think. Not really sure. In the last video, we staged a prison break. We got all the tieflings. We got ungrateful Wolbrin and his little gnome friends free as well, which whatever. And uh, we saw how he treated Barkus. So, you know, maybe at some point we can do something to help Barkus out. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to talk to Damon real quick because... Nowhere safe from this damned absolute. If you need something sharp, I have a few things left. Yeah, I actually, I want to see his wares. Um, wait. Earlier I mentioned you could work interesting materials. What do you mean? I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Well, what are they? Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. I'm going to need you to spit it if out. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. I think I found a material you could work with. What is it? What is it? Absolutely. Infernal iron? Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. What is it? Am I going to find out what I gave you? Is it infernal iron? I assume I don't need infernal iron anymore because Carlax like fully upgraded. There you are. And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Flawed Helldusk armor. Did I lose all my? I did. I did. He he did take an infernal iron. Just tell me that that's what you need. You weirdo. All right. Um. So it's a rare heavy armor. It's 18 armor class. Unfortunately, I can't wear it because I'm a barbarian. We can only wear medium armor. We don't have permission. Um, one less piercing damage. When you are hit by a foe within two meters, it might take one to four fire damage. That's, uh, that might... You know what? I would say that that would be something for Lazelle. But she already has, like, adamantine heavy armor. I'm gonna... Hang on one second. I'm just gonna check something. What... I'm, I'm googling this. What BG3 characters can use heavy armor because I feel like every time I try to use it it's like no <laughs> who can wear heavy armor classes with heavy armor proficiency fighter paladin cleric and ranger cleric can wear heavy armor wait really Can I, um, can I see that she have heavy armor proficiency? How do you see it on here? That's not what we need. Is it character sheet? Let's see. Well, I don't know. Let me see. It says not proficient with heavy armor. So if I, if I do that, she looks good with it. Wait, can't, her AC is 21 with it on. That's crazy. I mean, it goes way up, right? This is not proficient. Do I have to upgrade heavy armor proficiency? I mean, she looks pretty badass with it. Let's just, let's just leave it on, maybe? Hmm. Let's see, she can use all her spells still with it on. So that's like the main thing. There's nothing on here that's just like, ah. Recast Speak With Dead, there's nothing that's like, oh, you screwed mind? up. No, nice. Can't sleep, so I might as well have Yeah, let's, uh, let's trade. Oh my god. I think I, I think I sold you all this crap. Uh, yeah, I think I did. Oh, that's funny. Um, what's this? Sword of Life Stealing. It's a short sword. Which means that Will could use it. Okay. 
On a critical hit, the target takes an extra 10 necrotic damage. As long as it isn't a construct or an undead, you also gain 10 temporary hit points. That seems kind of sick. Um, you've also got chainmail plus two, two less slashing damage. Yeah, whatever. Chain shirt plus two, rare medium armor. Uh, right. Is there some reason that I gave him a robe? I, can, I don't think I can give him armor, right? There is much to do. Can I give Halls an armor? I mean, he goes to wild form, right? So. Change shirt plus two. Eh. Yeah, it's not. It's 15 armor class. Like, okay. Scale mail plus two. 16. That, that seems pretty good. These seem honestly like pretty nice. Not for me, but like maybe for some other people? I don't know. Eh. Thermodynamo axe. Huh. Very interesting. I mean, I'll take this short sword. It might be good for Will. So he doesn't melee that often, but when he does, it might it might be it might be nice. Um, for him, let's put the dagger in there. That's a Starian's crap dagger and a Starian's crap short bow. You can have all my crap, Damon. Um, can I give you one of my shovels? No, no, no. Um. We'll remove the item, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me one shovel, thanks. Because I don't need two, apparently. And... Yeah, we'll just balance it. You can have a thousand. Sure. All right. Thanks, Damon. I, so should I give him my other Infernal Iron? Let's do it. Because I... He says he's all tuned up with Carlac's engine. He can't do anything more with it, so... Just a moment. I'll be able to work this one quickly. So maybe he can give me some other stuff with it. Yeah, yeah, be careful who you show it to. Flawed held us hem helmet. I almost said Hamlet. Um. Oh, you know what? I should give this robe to uh, Will. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then this spell crux amulet, spell slot restoration. Give that to Shadowheart, maybe. Well. Don't worry about it just yet. So you can fall asleep for two turns with this potion, and then you short rest and gain all your level one and two spell slots. That's pretty cool. The wielder has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. That's gotta be good for somebody. Who who doesn't have a helmet? Bro, will you want this? There you go. Now, of course, we're gonna, yeah, make sure that we hide it. Wait, not proficient. Oh, he can't wear a helmet. Oh, that's so annoying. I kind of want to give Shadowheart this. Instead of this, uh, Wapira's crown. Like, she doesn't really heal that much. Can I give her, or can I give Will this? Yeah, because he, he does a little bit of healing. So that might be okay. And then the short sword of first blood. Let's go ahead and give you the sword of life stealing instead. Look at you. That is a short sword. Yeah. Okay. Now you're not really going to crit that often. Not proficient with martial weapons or short swords. Oh, really? So I just gave you a short sword this whole time? But you can use a rapier. It's a finesse weapon. Whereas, no, but these are finesse weapons. What the hell? Halsen, buddy, what can you, what can... You know, okay, Halsen, maybe you can carry the sword of life stealing. I don't know. Are you, can you wield a sword, please? Thank you. 
You'll have that torch in the torch slot. Oh, boy. Yeah, Halston doesn't really have much, does he? Oh, oh, um... That armor that I got, can I give it to Halston? Am I dreaming? Did I, didn't I get some armor? Oh, no, I gave it to... Here! You take the luminous armor. Yeah, there we go. Halston has a little bit of armor now. And that's okay, right? I feel like half the time when I give people armor, the game's just like, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that. Speak with dead. Let's see, animal friendship. Oh, I can't give up my animal friendship. Beastmaster's chain. Um, You know what, Halzen? I'm going to have you speak with dead for now. You're the speak with dead um, little guy uh, for now. And then I'm going to give her spell slot restoration so that she can get her spell slots back. Because Slim Shady is MVP right now. Look at this. AC 21. And can I get away with it? I might be able to get away with it. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, a quick save. So now we're going to get into what I need to do for the rest of the video. Which is... Let's go to Moonrise Towers. Um... At some point, we'll want to go through the Mason's Guild. Maybe on our way to the Grand Mausoleum later. Uh, but I feel comfortable being like, let's do Moonrise Towers again. Yes. Now, I'm curious about something. No, no. no time to rest. Not you. Need to find I'm curious about it. something. I need to know. I'm going to short rest. To get going. I need to know if they're going to be hostile to me on the surface from what happened in the prison. And they are not. Okay. Fantastic. Interesting. Oh. Eh, I don't really feel like jumping. I, I got into a lot of trouble from trying to jump earlier. Yeah, this isn't really helpful. I'm going to go back down to the docks, I think. Because I've been thinking... And... Those, um... Those tadpoles down there. I know I, like, messed up trying to... No, will you... I want you to go in. Uh... How do I get down there? Do I have to go down the stairs? I can't remember. Is it... Is it in here? No. Not here. Again, I don't really want to get into uh, the main room right now. Cat hole. How do I go downstairs? Is it this way? I think it might be this way. What is this right here? Dude, there's a little chest here. Cracked wall. Hmm. Is that so? Uh, I think we have... I'm not going to use the brilliant retort for it. But I will use whatever other explosives I have. Um, throwables. Here we go. Oh, okay. Apparently, I am going to use the brilliant retort. Okay. Here we go, guys. Thanks, Wolbrin. Or wait, not Wolbrin. Whoever that was that gave me that. 122 gold. Okay. So we, we blew that up, and that's all that's here. Okay. Oh, wait. Scroll of Evard's Black Tentacles as well. The Brilliant Retort. Mark, uh, Barkus. That's his name. Marcus. Barkus Root. Yes, that is his name. And he gave us... 
the brilliant retort. And we used it. Oh, I forgot you guys are here. Oh, you guys are funny. Okay, well, I can just kill you guys. That's fine. Yeah, it's all good. No holding back. Okay, uh, Will. Um. Path is interrupted. No, no, no. Use your Eldritch Blast, please. That's a crit. Got a critical hit. Nice. Counter spell. No. You're not going to summon your little guardian. I love counter spell. Dude, counter spell is so good. Let's turn into an owlbear. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, you guys are you guys are messed up now. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I'm going to right click. I'm going to right click. See, and now I right, when I right click, it doesn't do anything. I'm telling you guys. Not quite. Uh, slightly out of range. That's okay. We'll just we'll just sit here. Psionic backlash. Yeah, sure. How many times can I use psychonic psionic backlash? Oh my god. No, Halzen. Whoa, this guy. Okay, Shadowheart. We're gonna make sure everything's okay with you. Um. Wow, I can just replenish an expended spell spell slot of any level. That is so cool. Hmm. No, no, no. Can I do Sunbeam? Can I? Okay. Got a nice sunbeam right there. Let's go. Oh, did you miss? Oh, did you miss again? Oh, that's really too bad. Anyway, die. He has one HP. I cannot believe that. You know what? Get stuffed in a locker, nerd. Ugh. Actually, no. Elder's Blast. One on him. Uh, one on her. Okay. Nice. Let our enemy's corpses nourish the ground. You have 16 HP left. Awesome. Uh, yeah, let's rupture, maybe? Oh, wait. Let's do... Can I do this? Oh, I'm gonna hit Shadowheart with that. Uh, maybe not. We'll just do rupture. Oh, I hit Shadowheart with that, but uh, lunar mend. I'm gonna do level four for 16 HP. That was uh, not what I was thinking. Um, I mean, do you want to get bonked? Okay, well, that didn't do anything. Damn. What's crazy is, like, he still has all, all his HP. He has 75 HP. That's, that's insane. Here I come. Think you can take me on. Reckless. Ooh, that was a big one. Oh my god, I killed them. That's crazy. Played armor, uh, sent to camp. Thanks. I'm actually gonna... No traps, please. Let's see, what do you have? Oh, you have nothing. Eh. Send to camp. Um... Kill me and you'll be hunted down like a dog. 
You're so funny, man. I missed both of those. You know, Will, you're starting to really annoy me. How about you go flourish them? Okay. You know what, Halzen? You go ahead and... Hey, nice six damage. Okay, nice job. Let's do... Okay, bear. Here I am. And that'll be the end of it. Yeah, go ahead and hit Shadow Heart, you idiot. <laughs> Armor class 21. Yeah, you're not gonna hit that. Sorry, you're not experienced enough. Nothing personal, kid. I hate you. What is your armor class? Holy hell. Witness. Witness the murder of a guard and will report to other guards as soon as possible. I'd like to see you try. 18 armor class, though, that kind of, that makes sense. Another day, another fight. Okay, I got a huge critical hit. Dude, these elithid powers are crazy. And that's why I was thinking, there's these pat tadpoles on the dock. Gotcha. We need to go, we need to go out there and get them. Is it out here? Yeah. Cause you know, these guys are all like, how dare Seems you? Like a good Let's see if too. Acolyte Maris is still mad at me. Not long before we march on the city. I checked the cargo, it's a little unusual. Don't see how true so. It's just supplies going ahead of the troops. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Think hard. What's really in the boxes? Two. I'm still using guidance. <laughs> Even though it's guaranteed. Think hard. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. As you bear down on his mind, you feel a pulse in response. A thousand pulses echoing from the nearby crates. Tadpoles. His mind had rejected the knowledge, forced it behind a mental wall. A wall you just took a hammer to. W worms. Worms in their heads. Worms all over. Right. Hmm. You had best wash them off. Parasites. Worms. <laughs> See ya, Acolyte. Acolyte Maris, or whatever your name is. You know what? I like that I've got a cave bear with me and just no one's questioning it. They're just like... Yeah, that shit's normal. Are you still mad at me? I'll kill you. I seriously don't care. Seems this individual doesn't think very highly of you. But That's a shame. Resist a well-timed gift. You want me to give him a gift? You want me to give him a gift? You were witnessed assaulting someone. You're headed for the cells. <laughs> That's funny that you say that. Uh. Okay. Anyway, so now you die. He saw me like attack a barrel, and then he was like, "My, uh, my opinion of you has been lowered." Well, guess what? You know what? Why am I even doing this? Oh, I, I would try to shove him off. Oh, look at me. Oh, wow. I was doing a lot of damage to them. Wait, what's going on here? All these people that judged me. Wait, what are you doing? Where's that guy? Where the hell is that guy? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Level two. There we go. Now we're all blessed. Isn't that nice? Wait, where are these guys? You're gonna need to come closer. We can't hear you. <laughs> oh, you dickheads. Finding my way. What's in here? <laughs> I think I'll take some of these. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe I should have Eldritch blasted. 
yeah, so. How about we just get a little closer? Oh, what? Look at me. I've got one paw on the trunk. That's kind of cool. You are so stupid. Die. Okay. Or I guess I'll take a hit. This guy did a lot of damage. Hey, look at your inventory by any chance. Cause I really, I really want to like shove him into the lake. So cutting him down might be more, more satisfying. Yeah, that's too bad. Let me take your gold. Let me send your plate armor to camp. And then you know what? Nothing else you had <laughs> was worth anything. So yeah, where are these guys? Um, Light on my feet. Yeah, I guess I'll just run towards them. Guys, come on, come over here. Well, there's two of you. Come die. Uh, let's see. Let's dash. I wasn't sure if it was gonna summon all of them when I attacked this one, but you know that's fine. You better keep dashing. Ah, you're finally in range. Oh man, did you hit that pole? That sucks. Uh, time to dash. Must keep going. Go, halls and go. Uh. Hmm. Need to find a way forward. Oh, not enough. That sucks. I guess I'll lose my rage. Damn. They're just too far away. Come here. I'm putting out my guardian of faith. Check it out. Check me out. I got a guardian of faith. Yeah. Okay. Shield blow. I love these reactions that I have. These are really useful. Okay, so she came back to to life, right? I think that's Lathander's light that's doing that. I could be wrong. I think it happened like a few episodes ago too. Path is interrupted. Good. Let them stand in our way. Oh my god. Okay. Multi attack. That's pretty good. Good job, Halzen. My rage has ended. With haste. Uh can't believe I missed. Attack again. Okay, pretty good. good. Opportunity attack, yeah. Hunger of Hadar. Oh, this like blinds you, doesn't it? Oh, Shadow Heart. Doubled movement cost. Okay, well, I got out. Critical miss? Is it because it's too dark in there? Standing near a portal to the dark between the stars infested with unknown horrors. Oh wow, cold and acid damage. So why did you enter? Why did you enter there? Okay. Um, provokes attack of opportunity. Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah. We done?
Concentration saving throw successful. Oh, that's too bad. Um, let's see. Rotten lemon. Okay. Well. On the move. All right. Time to die, I guess. These lands may not be under the thrall of Lady Shah for much longer. Is that no so? She wishes for Kethrick Thorn to be punished. Her darkness was a blessing offered before he betrayed her. She can redirect her powers elsewhere once he is cast down. These illithid powers were developing. What do you make of them? On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from, and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. The odds are stacked against us. Can we truly af afford to ignore, uh, ignore a potential advantage? Hmm. Yeah. Let's see if we can persuade her. Situational. Okay. Nice, we got it. Well, okay. Perhaps you have a point. Fine. Let's explore these powers then. I just hope we don't come to regret it. She approves. Wow. I mean, can my approval with Shadowheart even go any higher? I tell I don't know if it can. I mean, we're oh. I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty much maxed. Character is thrilled with. I mean, there's just like a little bit left to go, but I mean, everybody's, look, relationship is good. Character approves of Avatar. Okay. We'll ask Halzen, how am I doing in your estimation once, um, once he's thrilled with me. Should mind my step. Now. Here's what I really wanted to come down here for. This shit, dude. Tadpole squirms and shrinks away. Inside the vat is a churning mass you can do nothing to quell. Okay. But, like, it's got 4 HP, you know? So... Parasite. Take it. It might be useful. Wait, did did one get out? Mind flare parasite. Okay. Um, please. And then. Okay, wait. Okay, so there was two of them. Dead mind flare tadpole empty. Oh, interesting. Holy water. You guys are annoying the hell out of me right now. Is Shadowheart dead? From the caustic brine? Oh, is it still here? Will, get out of there, guys. Okay, yeah, good job, guys. Get out of there, get out of there. Um, okay, so, yeah, so Shadowheart is dead. Well, good thing we have a scroll of Revivify. Um, however, we need to get her out of there, so, let's see, how am I, hmm, let's jump down here. This is the first time I've had to do this, really, like, truly, no target, oh. Choose destination. Um Take your own. There you go. I'm not going to last much longer. Blessing of Saluna. She's uh she's inspired. It was bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. You know, you were just dead. Okay. So wait, Will, do you have a problem with this too? Oh gods. 
Watching you consume that tadpole was more disgusting than the tadpole itself. Oh, you no, guys don't like I this. I suppose that's not what you wanted to talk about. Um, what do you think about the illicit potential the Dream Visitor spoke of? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. Okay. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. We're good, man. We're good. Just look at me, how potent I'm becoming. Think of what we could accomplish together. Yeah, look how powerful I'm becoming, Will. There we go. I'm more than a bit wary. I admit. Still, I am the Frontier's avowed protector. New dangers require new skills to vanquish them. If the tadpole must be my curse, then let the powers it grants me be the Sword Coast's blessing. I will consume what I must to make it so. Wait. Hang on. I wonder what the next move is. Y'all can get it too? Defender of the people. What's next? Oh. Shadow Heart. Holy hell. Should I do it? I mean, I've been going crazy with my tadpoles. I kind of want to go, I kind of want to go nuts with my tadpoles first. Because I want to know what these locked ones are. Repulsor, push anything and anyone back six meters. That sounds really good. Creatures suffering falling damage because of your actions take an additional one to eight psychic damage. Oh wait, I gotta take this first. Horse tunnel. Sorry guys, I'm keeping the tadpoles to myself. Yeah, let's go. Hey Halzen, you like tadpoles? Oak Father preserve you. Oh, he doesn't really have anything about it. Anything to say about it? Uh. Okay. Well, that's fine. Wonder if the gods I actually watching. am looking to go back to the camp to long rest. Oh, look at this. Wow. How humiliating. Okay, well, I guess we'll just leave you there. Eventually, you'll slip off and fall into the water, never to be seen again. Uh, now, here's the question. If, can I go... Can I go back inside? Oh, I should probably save first. I'll save. Oh, oh, wait. Oh yeah, 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 kill these guys. Uh, let's go back up the stairs. Am I good? Are we okay? Let's go to the front, the front room. Same as hey me. everybody, it's just me and a giant cave bear. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're all good. Okay, I'm gonna go long rest now. Yeah, because we need to get that. Um, we need to get the HP. Sorry, what do you think about the? I have a feeling well, I know what you think. No tentacles yet. I suppose we can consider that a success. Oh. I don't really need to know what he thinks about the tadpoles, apparently. Interesting. What about you, Lazel? Change her. No good will come of devouring a gay worm, no matter what you might think. But can I get you to do it? Have you thought about making use of the tadpole's power? Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gay tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. If we must bear the tadpole's burdens, we should also avail ourselves of their power. <laughs> Shadow Heart, can I get you to back me up here? Thanks. Uh-oh. Roll again. Ah, that's more like it. Perhaps you... No, that's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. 
But like, My own it's gonna turn us into mind flayers anyway. I have no need of this depraved power. I have to do another person. I mean, it makes sense, right? I'm a living example of the tadpole's benefits. I never felt more powerful. Woo. Okay. Damn, Lazel, we really need you on board with this. I'm rolling again. Okay, I was like, I'm not going to do more than one. You, you might be right. The Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. Mm. The Zaythisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The Whatever copium you need to tell yourself. A curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. Yeah, okay. Great. Thanks, bud. Um, now Carlac, on the other hand, I think she might be a little more difficult to sway. Illicit? Mm -hmm. Carlac, I worry so about her tadpole powers. You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more illithid into the mix? Actually, well, no, she's probably gonna I be say? fine with this. You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. And yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. Yeah, but like... Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. I think we should all do it. It's your choice, but I think the tadpoles make me stronger. Do they? I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. I can definitively we say I'm stronger, though. We don't know what the cost might be just yet. Yeah, you know, I waited like 35 videos to do it. But I, was, I kept thinking about... I kept thinking back to Elminster the most powerful wizard in all of Faerun being like, yeah, you're pretty much stuck with the tadpoles. And I was like, well, if I can't get rid of them, I might as well use them. I don't, it's not so much that I trust the dream guardian or whatever their name is, the dream visitor. But, um, you know, I think, I think it's fine. And it's fun. It's fun to do that. We need all the help we can get. 18. Oh my god, look at that. Uh, yes. How do you do that? Always making sense when I least want you to. <sighs> Fine. I'll keep an open mind, all right? I can promise that much. Now, are we done here? Yeah, I guess so. Sure. Hey, Scratch, you want some tadpoles? <laughs> oh. Okay, oh my god, I forgot Gail is naked. Oh my god, I forgot he's naked. <sighs> Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. Okay, very well. Show me the way. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. Okay, but I've got to get back to Moonrise Towers, so I hope that this doesn't take too long. Ugh, I gotta split this. Split in four, split in two, split in one. Thank you. Just use, just use that. Thanks. What are you doing, Gale? this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness, when you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. Yeah. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. Uh, why did you summon me here? I wanted to see you while I still could. Are you thinking this about the my last night alive? I wanted it to be under a canopy of 
beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Is this truly what you want? To die for the promise of mistress forgiveness? Because I feel like, I feel like he's going to blow himself up and it's not really going to do much. Babe or crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Mistress forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. I can understand that. Um... You don't have to die. I mean, I don't want Gale to die, but on the other hand, he is kind of rotting here in camp. I haven't... I haven't... brought him out into the field in a while. Hmm. We haven't even found this hardly absolute yet. Yeah. I can feel it. Ever since we set foot in this strange, corrupted land. The closer we get, the heavier my own heart becomes. Stay with me a while, will you? Day will come all too soon, even in this place. I'd rather not listen to you wallowing in self-pity good night, Gale. Well, we're gonna be nice, okay? I'm not going anywhere, Gale. I'll be by your side, whatever dawn brings. Yes, but there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our friends, our adventures. <laughs> this would have been so much easier if it was just me, but it isn't. If there is mm. a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me, I want to seize it. I just cannot fathom what that might be, other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone either. Mm. All right. Don't get jealous, Carlac. I'm just spending time with a man who's about to die. Surely there's could be more to it. It really it, it really shocks me that you can use his um self-sacrificial orb in regular combat voluntarily. I almost want to try that at some point. Just to see what happens. It seems like it would be a party wipe. I it just kind of shocks me that you can use it, you know? Anyway, um Arabella, I can't help but notice you're still here. Are you okay? If Bowman says I'll be all right, I'll be all right. I just wish... I wish it was different. I wish Mom and Pops was here. I wish they were here too. It hurts. I know it does, but you'll feel better in time. You've been so strong, they'll be so proud of you. Well, they're not, so you can quit your sniveling. I'm gonna say the second one. I don't feel so strong. Or anything, really. Just tired. Okay. Yeah, I know that, like, I try not to be too, um... Don't say that to someone who's grieving, because everybody's different. But for me, when people are like, Oh, you'll feel better eventually. I'm like... Like, when it comes to grief, I'm like... I don't know if I want to feel better, you know? At least not right away, you don't want to feel better. You want to, uh... Oh. Oh my gosh, I don't have to speak with animals on. Well, I'll pet ya. 
Because in the end, or in the beginning, I was like, if it doesn't hurt anymore, it's like I've forgotten. You know, so I think some other people feel the same way. They don't want to be told like, well, you'll forget all about this someday. And I know that's not what they're saying, but it can come across that way sometimes. Brothers. Sister. Okay. Pray with me while we wait. It's time, y'all. It's time. Uh, wrong way. It's time to enter Kethrick Thorm's chamber. The absolute door. Let's go. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Ass! No, no, it was Minthara. Oh, she these jokers. She... Oh, Minthara's dead. A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. Damn. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Damn. Don't kill them. They're loyal followers of the absolute. Here, here. Attack. We can just attack right here. They are loyal followers. I ah, might as well. Do we really want to stick up for goblins? But I can't, I'm not just going to like stand there and be like, well, I guess they'll just die then. A new true soul come to share their wisdom. We did as we were told. We're loyal to the absolute. Tell him. I literally just Science. did. That's what I said. True soul, you have seen these goblins at work, have you not? What say you? Well, I do remember fighting them, I think. Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I fight Fezzerk? Am I? Just kill them. They're worthless. They're faithful to the absolute. I'll give them that. See? What I tell ya? Praise the absolute. Faith without action is anemic, sickly, in a word, useless. He sounds like J.K. Simmons. To the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> But isn't he invulnerable? <laughs> Guys, we can barter. I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Uh oh. Try again. He really is J.K. Simmons. Were you watching or were you dragging? <laughs> Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. Hmm. What are you looking at me for? You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. What am I meant to do with them exactly? Uh, I'll just nod. Curtly. Here in the seat of the absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report okay. to me upstairs when you're done. Upstairs. Please, you gotta help me. For old times' sake. <laughs> Spill your guts on the floor. You know, um, it kind of reminds me of that 
uh, when we talked to the the bartender lady, and she was saying that um, they made her friends like stab themselves over and over again. I guess it's a popular tactic among these barbarians. Now I'm a barbarian too, but not that kind. Not another word. In fact, not another breath from any of you. Guards, release them. Oh, praise the absolute! Paulson disapproves. The seat of the absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. I mean, we I don't really remember them, to be honest. His power. I just didn't feel like slaughtering them. But I guess Halsen wanted to kill the goblins. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at her portrait. She's like, you had 7 HP. What did you think was going to happen? Let's sit on the stone throne. Why not? From this seat, Ketherick defied gods and raised an army for the absolute. Wow. It is not particularly comfortable. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Hmm. Not sure it suits you. But that's probably a good thing. Oh. Is that what you think, Slim Shady? Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. A map of Baldur's Gate depicting upper city, lower city, and outer city as far as Worms Crossing, as well as Grey Harbor and the near course of the Kionthar. Oh, okay, so Worms Crossing is in Baldur's Gate, or around there. Because I have some, I have like a, uh, a, a quest for something about there, don't I? I was wondering what that was. Oh my gosh. Druids. Meddling and meddlesome. I have a history with them that makes me wary of underestimating them. They will certainly not welcome the arise of the Absolute in their vicinity and could become significant obstacles if we don't find a way to take them out of play. I speak here for starters of the Emerald Grove and of the Cloakwood Circle. They cannot easily be defeated without a significant diversion of resources, but they can, perhaps, be neutralized from within. Druids, by their very nature, do not smile, Yanthus. <laughs> do not smile, Yanthus. Value the balance of natural forces over the welfare of humanity in general, and in the extreme this is expressed by the faction historically known as the Shadow Druids, who favor complete separation of the circles from what they regard as the ills of civilization. We shall identify the current leaders of the Shadow Druids, cultivate them with gifts while intimidating them with threats, and encourage them to see that the wisest and most prudent course is for the Druid Circles to stand neutral as the Army of the Absolute marches on the blighted cities of the civilized. Disciple Zyrell shall select an appropriate agent to parlay with the Shadow Druid leaders. Eventually, all shall be infected with tadpoles. I wonder if this is where Kaga came into play. Interesting. Orcs of the Trielta Hills. The recent dismemberment of uh, the recent dismemberment of dismem dismemberment of Agent Moss, True Soul Twenty Six, by Lord Herod's guards at the Ringfort Stronghold, is a clear indication that our strategy for co-opting the Orcs of the Trielta Hills needs to be adjusted. Sending a herald to talk was regarded as evidence of weakness, so we must assume. Sorry, I'm checking my baby monitor. We must assume an attitude of dominance in our next attempt. The true soul among us who best understands orcish customs is undoubtedly Sir Yax of Scornabel. He shall be sent, backed up by a pair of ogres, to deliver a direct personal challenge to Lord Harad, using as an excuse the dismemberment of Moss. Yax is to defeat Harad and then force him to swear fealty to the Absolute, and in return we shall back Harad in the conquest and alliance of the other two Trialta tribes. Inform Sir Yax as soon as he returns from the Werewoods. I want to go to the Werewoods. That sounds fun. Recruiting Knolls. Where is that? Okay. Though Knolls verge upon being brute beasts who cannot follow orders couched in even the simplest terms, they can't fulfill one important role of any army, such as the one we are building, that of Vanguard Shock Troops. 
Howling Knoll Berserkers can be sent ahead in frontal assault to absorb defender spells and missile volleys, exhausting our enemy's ammunition before the arrival of the organized phalanxes of our less savage troops. Wow. Accordingly, Ragslin's... Draw Ragslin, remember him? We killed him, the Hobgoblin from the Goblin Camp. Hobgoblin Rangers are hereby detached to the wilderness to track down Knoll War Packs, capture each pack's Flind Leader, and bring them back. <sighs> in good condition to Moonrise Towers for tadpoling. The Flins can then be returned to their war packs, where we can count on the rank and file to follow the order of their leaders, who will then be loyal to the Absolute. Six such packs should be our needs. See to it. Wow, so they're literally just like enslaving gnolls to be used as, um... Yeah, bait, basically. You're not the first to brave the dark for the absolute. The war camp's are full to bursting. Fascinating. No feuding under this roof, true soul. We're all one under the absolute. More's the pity. So many drow. So many drow, bugbears, hobgoblins. It's like, you think they would look around at some point and be like, are we the baddies? I think we are the baddies. But I guess not. So, Moonrise Towers, second floor. We're finally starting to ascend Moonrise Towers. This is fun. some fun. Hi, guys. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. Yeah, hi. The Shady, goblins. where are you looking at? Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly. Oh, I love go. across your memories in a blaze of excitement. Huh. She sees the goblins walking free. And a burning rage fans across your mind like Yeah, that was funny. Fire. Explain yourself. Uh, I kind of wanted to piss you off. They won't get far. Let the curse take them. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that not what you wanted? Yeah. Very pragmatic, but very boring. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate, but there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Uh oh. Let's see. Fake it. Fill your mind with love for the absolute. <laughs> we could, we could get if we succeed in this deception, we could get inspired. There is a tremor of shared ecstasy as she finds a mirror to her own desire. Oh, you're too easy. Perfect. You crave what all true souls should, to be touched by the absolute. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. She gave, show me the power she gave you. Everything? What exactly do you want? To take without asking, to feel without doubting, and to kill without consequence. Wow, In so a you're word, a psychopath. Freedom. A violent psychopath. Okay. Freedom, your only purpose is to serve Catherick in the Absolute. I choose to serve, and I'm glad to. Your words are dangerously close to heresy, true soul. My words were a test of your faith. I too am glad to serve. <laughs> what a dickhead. Time to die. Okay, we'll say that. As you should be. And you have an opportunity to impress General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's so funny there that you think that I'm here that to impress Thorn General Thorn. Requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. Oh, he's not jealous. The relic is beneath the Thorn family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. 
aid Balthazar if you can, and bring the relic home. That's what I want to do later. Is that where the Orthon is? What exactly was this relic? And what Balthazar's dead? Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. The relic. What was the relic? It is something that General Thorm desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Look Talking at her. about the relic makes her anxious. It's like L.A. Noir. Oh my god, that's so funny. Talking about this relic makes you anxious. Why is that? Let's get her. Get her ass. Oh, I barely got that. I am in awe of the power the relic must hold to be of such importance. We could be getting really good rolls, by the General way. General Thorn will not leave Moonrise without it. Okay. The relic is vital to Catherick's plans. You should be giving me more support. So he lost contact. And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Oh, a, a single 8 HP I? We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. Uh huh. Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Tell him he's to share my secret stash with you. Oh, hell yes. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. I've Take already got one. one. From Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Charlatan clear conscience. I'm inspired. Let's see. Oh, look at all the inspirational events for this. Kind of funny. Uh, successfully lied to Zarel about the fate of the goblins. Nice. So, uh, so what are you guys doing? Wide gaping sockets that see Oh, nothing. okay. And still they seem to watch you. Kind of weird. What about you, Raja? It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. You're so desperate. How is one chosen to ascend? I'm sure you have done a great many things to get this far, Trousseau. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. Disciples Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. Hate missing these saves. Prove you are ready. Reach out for her tadpole. What's with the skeletons? Her design does not end at the grave, blessed one. You will serve, whether you ascend or fall. And I find use for even the fallen. I hope that is some comfort to you. Okay. Um... Okay, so we don't go through the ornate door yet. Uh, oh, that's locked. Okay. So what's in here? Is this? You get? You want to steal an ink pot? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Glurik is here. Hi. You can pass in the name of the salute. Well, thank you. Oh, Balthazar's room key. Oh my god, Balthazar's room. What the hell? Balthazar's room is crazy. Look at all the bodies. Look at the growths. I mean... <laughs> oh, we don't want to poke and pry around, huh? Dude, Balthazar's apprentice is right over here. That's curious. 
It sure is. Bookshelf labeled conventional medicine, poisons and venoms, musty tomes. I see. There's also galvanic interrogations. Travelers, just there's so much stuff here. He had a heart on him. I think we're good. We don't need that. Speak to me. Um, would you like to cast Speak with Dead? Is it you that has Defendo it? Of the people. Who has Speak with Dead? Oh yeah, it's Halson. Yes. Would you like to? Would you like to speak with this dead? The corpse running silent. Damn, I was really hoping that we could get story time. From Balthazar's apprentice. Right away. Uh, stayed interesting. Wait, there's just a corpse here. Okay. Now this is on the other side of this door. Oh wait, what the hell? Zealot Clan is over here. I mean, could I sneak around Moonrise Towers? Because that seems kind of fun. Let's look around a bit. Now, we don't need a moon lantern, but it'd be kind of funny if we took it and, like, freed the pixie inside. Don't give me Let's lockpick this. I don't really think it matters. All right, we'll use another thieves tool. There we go. What's inside? Derivation cloak. When you poison a foe, heal yourself for 1d4 hit points. Okay, well, it's a cloak, and it's nice to have cloaks. Okay, so this is a moon lantern. Now, inside this moon lantern is a pixie, is it not? I mean, is it like a regular moon lantern? Okay, if I put it, if I put it... Oh, I already have it. Okay. Can I not speak to it? I guess this is... N this one does not have a pixie. Well then... Okay. Interesting. Oh. I just can't speak, speak with animals constantly. Um... All right, let's see. Engraved Gith Yankee disc. I'd like to read that, actually. Seems simple enough. Have near idea. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Gith Yankee writing. The symbols are striking to look at, but you aren't sure what they mean. Without a uh. cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's message could be near impossible to discern. I could take it to um, Lizel. Oh my god. That's okay if we failed that one. No matter how hard you try, you can't make any sense of the symbols. Discover the history of the Prince Orpheus. She might know more about it. That's a good idea. I'm gonna stash it. Disc. Are these Gith Yankee markings? Lazel might know. Yes. Um so Okay, let's look at uh, Traveler chest. You got anything in here? I'll take these. Oh my gosh, frost salamander tongue. Yeah, let's take all these. Why not? Um, Balthazar personal notes. Any works by Morden Canaan. You must catch up on current events. No Volo. Better a century of ignorance. In vellum, holds ink like no other, could harvest from an acolyte. New copy of Swift and Sun Death for Library. Current volume, badly scorched. Is there something? Okay, personal notes too is over here. Yeah. Install a drain beneath library's conventional medicine shelf. It's wasteful to let all that blood seep through the flagstones and it will rush the spikes besides. A line slashes through the above, the same hand and fresh ink below. Disregard, the smell gives me sweet dreams. OK. 
Okay, you weirdo. Um, I mean, is there really nothing else? Like something for this thing over here, like what order to do things in? Here. Okay. I see. Okay. Musty tomes. Wait, what's switching sudden death? What is this? To those who doubted me, may the storm claim your final breaths and the earth reject your rest. Here, guys, come over here. Come over here so you don't get hit by this, please. Yeah. It's just me on this one. Okay. Here's what we do. Stay in the middle. The spikes won't hit you. Okay. Insert item. Great question. Oh, I see. Oh my god, okay. Luck of the Far Realm, sure. Time for some bloody work. Okay, well that was like pretty much nothing. What uh recipe of drow poison. Oh. Hmm. I can make drow poison now. That's pretty cool. Poisons and venoms. Oh, here we go. Poisons and venoms. No, guys! Oh, what the hell? Uh. No use. It's blocked. Um. Okay. So there's three here. Let's see. When we did poisons, this one came on. And then when we did galvanic, that one came on. There's, there's gotta be something that we can do over here. Here, you guys, come on up back over here. It's totally okay. I, like, we gotta figure out some kind of order to do it, I think. Okay, so like, if we do poisons and venoms, right? And then we do musty We're tomes. Back. And then we do... Damn, that's the red one. Um... No, it just, okay, that actually doesn't turn it off. The poison one just keeps going until the entire room is poisoned. And then it, it just ends. Oh, okay. So maybe, what am I supposed to put in this ancient altar? Maybe I come back here later? I don't know. What does the lever do? Okay. Guys, come on. Apparently, you can just come out here. Okay. You can go down the ladder here, and you can hop here. And you can crawl down the roots? Maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know why you would need or want to do this. Charred prayer book? My dark goddess. When I lost my daughter, I learned my purpose. When I learned my purpose, I gathered the flock. When the flock was full, I punished the wicked. When the wicked struggled, I struck them down. Okay. 
I mean, should I... Should I open this? Well, maybe I, don't, maybe I shouldn't lockpick it. I don't know. I kind of don't want to, like, push my luck too much here. Um, like, there's about half of the floor that I can't use. Hmm. I wonder if, like, I could unlock this and, like... I don't know. Sneak through or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Have you guys figured out that I don't know yet? Have I mentioned that enough times? I'm not in trouble, am I? Okay, good. Missive from Catherick. Interesting. The tower doesn't stink like an overstuffed cemetery. Which means Balthazar hasn't returned. So why are you here instead of out there looking for him? I really want to kill her. Oh, I really want to kill her. So do I just go to the mausoleum? Is this because I remember you guys saying in the comments like, well, you know, you really want to uh, go to Moonrise Towers before the um, mausoleum. I have my duties, true soul. I'm sure Disciples Rel has given you yours. Oh, is that it? Oh, so I can't... I guess I can't see Catherick no matter what. Okay, well... Um, you know what we might do then? We might go to the Mason's Guild. Because I don't think I finished everything there. Because if I look at my, um, journal, it acts like there's still something to do here at, at the, at the Mason's Guild. So apparently I didn't find what I was looking for. Here, I'll even show you. Let's see. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Investigate the Cellunite Resistance. The Mason's Guild seems to have been the center of the Cellunite Resistance in the area. We should seek it out and investigate further. So I don't know if there's still something to do here or not. But apparently I didn't... finish it. Which, like, if I... If I look at it, like, I've been everywhere, haven't I? What part of the Cellunite Resistance are we going to learn about, though? Like, is it down here? Tell you what. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. I'm doing it right now. Mason's Guild. BG3 Mason's Guild. Because sometimes, I've noticed a couple times, like, it doesn't progress certain quests. So I don't know if that's, like, bugged. Because, um... Like, Carlax quest is bugged for me, and it acts like I've already, like, I'm stalled. It acts like I need to go, like, talk to Damon in the Emerald Grove, and I'm like, we're way past that. So I want to see if it's, if it's like that, or if I've genuinely missed something, because maybe I did. Let's see... In the guild's basement, the Mason's log details how the Mason made a deal with a man who was no man to wipe out Catherick's dark, dark justice years in their stronghold. Okay. It looks like, okay, it looks like I'm actually done with this and maybe it's not finished. Because it says... I can find Infernal Iron here, which I did. Helmet of Arcane Acuity, which I did. Read the Mason's Log. Read the Moonrise Diagram. And I've done all four of those things here. So... Yeah, it says the Mason's Log will complete the quest, investigate the Cellunite Resistance. But it didn't do that for me.
Yeah. So I'm done with the Mason's uh, Guild. Oh. BG3, Mason's Guild. Uh, or, sorry, maybe not that. Investigate. Cell Unite Resistance Bug. Let's see. Top result glitch with Cell Unite Resistance quest line. The Mason's Log won't complete the quest line. Same here. Came looking for this as well. I read the log and then complete the quest. Oh, okay, so we're done. Uh, well, never mind. I'm trying to think of what else I want to do before we go to the Grand Mausoleum then. Uh... Well, there was this thing down here. The ominous crevice. Which I'm wondering if that's the same thing as... Going to the mausoleum. We've done pretty much everything else that you can do, though. We haven't found Zevlor. We haven't found Zevlor. We haven't found... The person that Will needed to find in Moonrise Towers. Kind of wondering... Yeah, that Mizora wanted us to find. We haven't found the Grand Duke. We know that some people were put on a boat and shipped away. Or cargo is what they were called. I don't know. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything that I can do. So I'm going to put in Ominous Crevice real quick. Uh... Oh. Okay, that's not what I thought. Okay, I think we can do the ominous crevice. I don't think it's the same as the Grand Mausoleum. In fact, I think it's going to be Pretty disappointing if what I just read is correct, but let's try it anyway. Bro, you guys are still here? You haven't rotted away yet? That's incredible. We all here? Okay. It's in the House of Healing Morgue. That's where we are right now. Okay. I mean, it's interesting. There's a big weirdo pit here. Now... Huh. Is it really... Oh, it's too far. I feel like, is that closer than this? Hmm. Now... Oh, father, watch over your servant. Doesn't Halson have like a triple your jump spell or ability of some kind? Oh, Misty Step. I mean, wait, don't I have a Misty Step? I have a lot on my mind. And, well... In it. It's a bonus action. I can do it every short rest. Well, I so think actually... Blessings. Holzen might be a better choice then. Because he it only takes a level 2 spell slot for him. You guys jumped? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I can't believe Shadowheart made it. Okay, I was about to say, oh no, Holzen can't lockpick this. I'm lockpicking it. Poor Will has to stay behind. Oh my god. Fine, I will use the thief's tools. Thank you. That's better. Flesh Melter Cloak. Whenever a creature deals melee damage to the wearer, that creature takes one to four acid damage. Um, I'm putting that on right now. Uh, where is that? Yes. Wait, that's not it. <laughs> um. 
Okay, you click on the... Some of you guys have been telling me this. Like, click on the slot, and then it brings up everything that you can put there. So, let's put on Flesh Melter Cloak. I don't love the cloaks, but... You know, we'll, we'll take them, I guess. If they provide benefits for us. Stop me yet. Calm down. Okay, and there's nothing else here. So. How? Is it. How the hell, dude? What should it be? Okay, what's annoying, what's annoying is that Shadowheart could jump there, but can't jump back. Um, can I do this? Can I give her the Misty Step boots? What am I to do? Now this doesn't really make any sense, but. That's one way to do it, I guess. Um, give me my boots back, please. Thank you. And then you take this momentum thing. Athletics. Whatever. Alright. Uh, now with that said, do we go down here? What the hell? Oh, guys, come on. Let's go. Sorry. Group up. Group up. Half near idea. That's me. There's a bunch of... A bunch of rando bodies here. I guess we'll just... I have a feeling we're going to take damage going down here, though. Because it stinks so bad. Commence battle. What the hell are these? Fetid ooze. And hollow armor. Shadow animated. AC 21. Poison immunity, psychic immunity. Okay. That's totally fine, I guess. Fetid aura. What does that do? All nearby creatures fall victim to the oozes, fetid fumes, and take one to six acid damage per turn. Fantastic. Um, great cleave, bro. Awesome. Um... Oh, you really, you, you screwed up. I don't know if you realize that. You really screwed up. Sputum, gross. Okay, well. Um, I'm actually gonna rage out now. You guys are pissing me off. Can I hit both of these guys? They're immune to bleeding. Well, I probably should have checked that first. It's immune to acid damage, which I do like two extra acid, a acid, acid damage. So that's all I'm missing out on is two damage. Not a big deal. You're okay, Shadow Heart. Um, so obviously, spike growth. Um, 
I mean, I'm wondering if I should even do that. Let's do. Victor's path. You know what, Will? You're crazy, okay? I'm gonna need you to do a fireball. Right here. Yeah. Nice, that did a lot of damage. Ooh, hoo, hoo. melted that guy. Let's go. Let's heal everybody. Feeling pretty nice there. I'm going to... You know what? We'll turn into a cave bear. Okay, here I come down. <laughs> Shimming down that thing was so funny. Couple of attacks, but not enough to kill it. Um, I think I'm going to concentrate here. Necrotic damage. Now you... Acid immunity. Slashing resistance. I think you have necrotic immunity, don't you? Necrotic resistance. But no radiant. So, here we go. Yeah, you like that shit, huh? Yeah, exactly. Ow. Got you, idiot. You don't have anything. Six damage. Okay. You guys know she has 21 armor class, right? I'm guessing not from all your little feeble attacks here. Yeah, Divine Strike, too. <laughs> oh my god. Will. What, what, what just exploded? Okay, well, um... Can I attack? More than once. Um, you yeah, alright? I'm gonna melee attack you, why not? Let's finish this. And uh, yeah, I'll melee attack you too. I did it. Okay, so great, I guess. Um, protected plate, 18 AC. Resistance to necrotic. Send to the camp, please. Okay, so is that... Is that, like, all that's down here? I don't see anything else. Time to press ahead. We're taking a lot of acid damage, I guess. Can you... Can you go up this way? Hmm, what did I come down here for? See, that cragged rock is where we're going. What did I come down here for? Into the ominous crevice. It's just like, like a little weirdo fight. Cool, so we had our little weirdo fight. And now I just, I go back up. Wow, great. Yeah, do I just go back up? I think there's a place I could jump though. Let's see. Okay, so, can you go over this way? How are we gonna get over there? Hmm. I can't use Misty Step until I short rest. 
Okay. Let's break up. Shall we continue? Urgh. Let's dismiss the wild shape. Well, actually. Never a dull moment. Okay, guys, listen. Love y'all, but I'm gonna check this out. Okay. How did you guys do this? Nine of space. Well, you jumped down there, did you not? Did I go down this way? Okay. I've got a potion for this. I know I do. It's like, it like triples your jump. Uh, jump. Okay. Uh, potion. Oh my god, dude. Uh, it's not a hill giant strength that just increases your strength. Elixir of the Colossus. Butterflies in the stomach. Here, wait. Latest. I think it was like one that I got pretty recently, wasn't it? Okay, no. You know what? I'm just going to Google BG3 triple jump. What is it? Um, Just what is it called? I can just search that. Uh, enhanced leap. Is that what it's called? Triple a creature's jumping distance for 10 turns. Okay. Oh, I thought I had like a potion that did that too. I am here. Halzen, where is this? There it is right there. It was staring me right in the face the whole time. Here you go. Okay, now it this has been great. Why can't at once? No. Oh my god, look at me. Holy hell. Yes. Button. I press button. Oh, and then it opens this. Back into here with all that crap. So then I can come back through there. And there's not really anything else here. Isn't that right? Yeah. Although, there's like... I don't know, sometimes there's weird crap off to the side, like over here. But I don't think that there's a way to actually access that, so. Okay. Well, this was kind of a bummer. Target is too far. Oh, do I not have the enhanced leap anymore? Uh, work is never done. Can I... Can't reach destination. Uh, well, you know, I know, I know a really easy way that we can just, we can just do this. Oh my God. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to, you guys are witnessing me losing it right now. Thank you. I forgot to make them all travel as a, a group. Okay, well, um, here's what I'm going to do. Before I start the next video, part 37, I think, I'm going to just double check and make sure that I should go to the mausoleum right now so that I don't get locked out of anything. I'm, I, I, think I'm, I think I know how to search stuff up spoiler-free at this point. Like, thankfully, I haven't had anything spoiled for me that I can think of at the moment. Maybe some minor things here and there, but nothing major. Um... Because obviously I want to get the most out of each act. So I'm going to make sure that uh, I can move on now. To it. And if I can't, then I'll go back to Moonrise and wrap up whatever else I have to wrap up. Because I honestly don't really know what else I would do there. Besides, like, to start attacking everybody. I guess I could do that. And then, then I could explore the second floor all I wanted. I don't know. Alright. But I'll see you in the next one. So uh, I'll be looking forward to that. I, just, I know I am. Uh, goodbye.
I'm very tired. Think critically.